Hey guys, it's Kaylee, and today was my last day of sophomore year. Hallelujah. Which is super exciting, but also really scary because I'm already halfway through high school and then two years goes college, and that's just, oh my goodness, so many things to think about. So I don't even know. I don't even know. But if you haven't been watching my past, I don't know, previous videos, I've been kind of talking about how I want to make a difference on YouTube and not just do like the same every, um, what everybody else does, which I have seen people do this type of video before, so I'm not saying like, hey, I came up with it or anything. There's not a lot of people do this and I really want to share these experiences with you to make your life a little bit easier or I don't know, just to let you know that you're not alone and just some tips on surviving high school. Maybe you'll feel the same and I won't feel like I'm the only person. So I'm just going to kind of take you through my past year without making this video super long. So let's just get into it. One of the major things I learned this year was that you need to make friends. And I don't mean this by like just go out there and get as many friends as possible. This year I was very like if I had a moment I wanted to stay home. Like I would say no to things during like classes and stuff. I really wish I would have reached out to people more because I think I would have had a lot more fun in those classes. In one of my classes I literally did not talk to anyone. I just went to class and left. And at the end of the year I ended up being paired up with this girl for um, a partner quiz or something. and talked like the whole entire hour and it was super great and I'm really disappointed that I didn't reach out to her earlier because I think we could have been really great friends and the school I'm going to now is like 7,000 people so the chances of, of getting another classes together it would just it's not going to happen so I really want to encourage you to go out there and make friends and don't be afraid to just talk to people on that first couple days because those People may not want to talk to other people and so they're looking for someone just to reach out to them too. Also don't be that person that's really mean when someone comes up to you on the first day and is like, hi my name's Kaylee and uh, like, you know in preschool when you're like, let's be friends and you're like, oh okay. So don't, you don't always have to be friends with that person but just like be genuine and be kind and don't be like stuck in your shell because I, I need to take my own advice, I'm not saying that I'm never done these things because I've done everything I've talked about so um, I really encourage you to step out of your box and go and make friends. Another thing I encourage you to do is to get involved with any activities at school, any clubs, any sports. Um, don't be that person that just goes through high school and doesn't, and doesn't get involved in anything. As most of you probably know who have watched my videos, I do run cross country and cross country is like no other sport and honestly that is what has gotten me through. These girls are literally my sisters. I can tell them anything. I sit with them at lunch every single day. We go after school. We do stuff. We have sleepovers all the time. So I just, oh my goodness, you need to get involved with some kind of club. I've met friends through friends and that kind of thing. So just get out there and do something, whether it is the photo club or that's doing swim. If that's what you like or you're not sure, just try it out because you may be really surprised and end up having lifetime long friends that you would not else have gotten. So please go out and join something. I don't care what it is. Whatever you enjoy, go and do it. Okay, this is, oh my goodness, I just laugh every time I look at this, but it is my one thing is life is not a boyfriend, okay? Girls are so obsessed with getting a boyfriend. My friend, my fr freshman year, she's like, I'm gonna go get me a boyfriend this year. Don't, don't do that because you're gonna be getting the wrong type of guy. They're not gonna be genuine. They're not gonna be kind. They're just gonna want you for stuff that you don't want to do at this age. That's after you're married. Yes, yes, it's after you're married. I know I'm very old fashioned so don't feel like you need to rush to it because you are so young and enjoy your time in high school. Focus on those friends that are going to be there because there's always going to be guys, there's, they're always going to be there. 
but your friends are going to come and go. So make sure you strengthen those relationships and focus on your schoolwork. That is one of the most important things in high school. Yes, have fun. Like sometimes I didn't study as hard as I could because I needed to sleep that night. And I'll probably sound really hypocritical right now, but I hope you get my gist. Don't like put all your efforts into dating that guy. Don't put all your efforts into a sport or something. Make sure you're balanced. And that, that's the point I'm trying to get is make sure you're balanced through high school. Don't be so overwhelmed with everything because it's just you're not going to do well. You're just going to be sick all the time and be stressed and that's just not fun at all. And one of my last tips for surviving high school and whatnot is slow down. It still really hasn't hit me that I'm t halfway through high school. That's kind of freaking me out. Like I, I'm super excited. I'm already starting to look at colleges and careers and everything else, but people are so caught up in like, you need to decide what your major is right now and you need to have your whole life planned ahead of you. And that's just, it should not be like that at all. You should enjoy being a kid, enjoy being a teenager while it lasts because one day we're all gonna be old and can't walk or anything. So I just really encourage you just to uh, step back and just really look at what you're doing with your life. So just slow down and have fun and just uh, really appreciate what you have right now because it's not gonna last forever. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed these kind of like talking advice videos kind of thing. So if you guys have any suggestions, you can always leave a comment down below. And don't forget to check out my social media. I have Instagram and Tumblr. And if you do not know, I recently just got into a collab. It is called Beyond Girly Things. And it is a group with seven girls. We each post one day a week. My day is Freaky Friday. Just decided that right now. So please go ahead and check out that. The link will be down below. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!